This is InfoLife TV headline news, February 18th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Speaking at a gathering of conference of presidents of major American Jewish organizations, Prime Minister Hold Olmert says he does not share in the optimistic reports regarding soldier Gilad Shalit. As for the two IDF reservists, Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev, he said, as long as there is no evidence in our hands, we assume they are alive. One of the Qassam rockets fired Sunday landed in fields in the Melchavim Regional Council area. The first time a rocket has fallen in the site, located 12 kilometers from the Gaza Strip. Residents said they're used to hearing the red color alert early warning system from Stirot and explosions in the area, so they were not surprised when the rocket fell. Dozens of angry Stirot merchants refused to leave the courtroom Sunday after the High Court of Justice failed to hand down a final verdict on their petition demanding compensation for the loss in income they've suffered as a result of the rocket attacks. During Sunday's hearing, the state informed the court that a committee appointed by Finance Minister had been submitted earlier in the day, which included recommendations for providing help for all communities. Israeli tennis player Shaha Peh will make a historic appearance in Qatar today, where she will begin with a first-round match in the $2.5 million Qatar Open. Peh is the first Israeli tennis player to participate in a tournament in the Gulf state. Experts say Israel is now among the world leaders per capita consumption of vodka, with an annual market of over $83 million. Over the course of the past year alone, there has been a 30% increase in quantity. Once again, Jerusalemites are preparing for more snow, which according to the weather forecast is expected to fall later Monday afternoon and continue through the night till Tuesday. The storm, which will begin with rain spreading from the north to the Negev, will be accompanied by thunderstorms and strong winds before temperatures drop. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, hundreds protest the plight of Stirot and communities surrounding Gaza. And French Foreign Minister Bernard Kouchnir visits the region. And an exclusive interview with a former Mossad operative. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service. Regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.